For the beam and external loads shown, what are the reactions at point A and point B? This is the fourth example for the rigid body equilibrium and moments main video. The links to that main video and other examples are in the description below. We know from that main video that the only reaction that the type of support at A is a normal or perpendicular reaction. The reactions at B can be both in the horizontal and the vertical direction, and we'll assume all unknown forces to be positive. Remember that these supports cannot generate a reaction moment. With this free body diagram, we can write a sum of forces in the x direction, the y direction, and the sum of moments that all have to be equal to zero since the beam is not accelerating in any translational or rotational direction. The horizontal reaction force at B can be found from the sum of forces in X, but the vertical reactions cannot be found from only using the sum of forces in the Y direction. For this reason, the point that we select to do the sum of moments should be one where one of these two unknown forces is not present. Otherwise, we would end up with two equations and two unknowns, a process that although possible would take more time. In this case, the sum of moments about A or B would result in an equation without AY or BY respectively, so either one of those works. But since the sum of moments about B has one fewer term because the line of action of the 3 kN force passes through B, we'll use that sum of moments to solve for AY and substitute its value in the sum of forces in Y to solve for BY. Alternatively, if we hadn't written a sum of forces in the y direction, we could have used the sum of moments about A that we wrote before to solve directly for BY. For more examples on rigid body equilibrium and the links to the main videos for the lectures of a statics course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.